Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is Simply Love back to you with a video for July for the uh, sign of Sagittarius. Yes, this is for Sagittarius, and um, I just want to take the time now to thank all of you who were concerned about my father who had been sick and had surgery and everything, and um, he's doing very well, and I thank you for all, all your, your concerns and everybody who written me, emailed me, showed their concerns. I want to thank you and say God bless you, and thank you for the prayers for my father and me. We want to say thank you so very, very much, and uh, we do feel loved. I feel loved uh, by the by that, and thank you for your patience with me getting uh, back on track with my videos and things like that. Okay, so with that said, I want to go ahead and let you know that this is just a general reading. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you would have to look below in the description box, and it, or maybe somewhere down there, <laughs> you'll see my email address and my website that you can go to to get the information to get in touch with me for your personal private reading. These are just general readings so it don't pertain to every, each and every uh, Sagittarius out there, okay? But some of you it may pertain to. So, um, going on from here, I'm just going to start the reading on up, okay? And I um, already shuffled the cards, prayed over the cards, so I, can, I got the messages in here for you for the uh, cards which is for the month of July. Now the first week I'm looking at some arguments, maybe some fussing and fighting uh, between a couple or somebody getting in an argument, a disagreement, there could be physical contact, there could be some type of um, abuse um, for Sagittarius's or it could be the other way around, it could be some kind of jealousy, some kind of anger, uh, something going on um, within your ROM of you Sagittarius. It could be happening to you or you could be doing this to someone. You might be angry at somebody, mad enough to hit them, mad enough to um, maybe physical. Maybe it could be um, you're angry or something. It's like two cards coming up here of people, two, you know, people at each other. You know, Sagittarius, there's some, Sagittarius is out there that's going through something right now in, in, in spite of a relationship, friendship, family, members, uh, something's going on here to, um, uh, and, and something was found out and what I'm looking at is what's going on is the fighting and the fussing that's going on is somebody got caught cheating or they, or they have an inkling that somebody's cheating. Either you, Sagittarius, is cheating on your mate, or your mate is cheating on you. Whether you're married, whether you're single, uh, uh, whether you're coupled up, or, or whatever has it be, it, it's a relationship issue, and there's three people involved in this relationship, and that's what's causing the fussing and the fighting and um, the back and forth, the anger, the jealousy. There's jealousy. I'm feeling a lot of jealousy in there for the Sagittarius now. Either that, like I said, it could be happening to you. Some of you Sagittarius is out there. I mean. Speaking to, or some of you Sagittarius is out there are in a, another relationship besides some, beside the one that you're with, whether you're married or couples, like I said, as a relationship. And if, if there's going to be a divorce between, for well, some of you Sagittarius is going to be a divorce behind all this. Uh, some of you Sagittarius is out there is going to be a separation or, um, a loss behind the cheating, behind the, you know, the fussing, the fighting. You know, some of you Sagittarius is this month of July is not going to be all that great, you know, for some of you Sagittarius. It's not going to be all that great. There's cheating going on. There's deception. There's uh, violence. It could possibly be uh, an abusive relationship going on here. And either you or the other person turns to someone else and it does if you're married, it's going to lead to divorce. If you're a couple, it's going to lead to a uh, lead of uh, uh, separation. There is what I'm getting from the it's going to be separation to divorce to breaking up, things like that happening. So with that said, I'm sorry to have to reveal that to you. Some of you um, Sagittarius is not all of you, it's just some of you. Let's see what the angels have to say to you 
uh, to help you move on from uh, this situation or whatever they feel that you need to do. Um, always follow your guides and when they're talking to you and delivering messages because um, it's very important to, for you to live a happy life and a, um, a better life for yourself and, and loving yourself and trusting yourself and bringing on that love and trust in the universe brings those type of people to you. You bring yourself to you when it comes to your mate, you know, when it comes to your help mate. You're the one that attracts that person to you, okay? So you are who you're, whoever you pick and choose in this life. That's who you are. So if it doesn't work out, at least take the experience and benefit from it and, and change, change the way or change some things that you're doing. And some of the things that you're doing is actually that person that you was with is inside of them. You see yourself for what you're doing. So take that as a lesson and move forward with your life, okay? I'm going to pick two cards here of healing with the angels by Doreen Virtue. The first card I come up with for you, Sagittarius, is uh, support. You're going to need a lot of support at this time, okay? A lot of you Sagittarius are going to get a lot of support at this time. Friends, relatives, neighbors, maybe, um, um, friends, um, Support is going to be there for you. You might even want to get involved in a support system. You know, maybe get just involved in uh, um, where you could go to uh, be around others that's in the same situation that you've been in. Uh, you know, some kind of counseling, uh, something like that to help you sort out everything that's happened because of the arguing, the fuss, the fighting. It's like, this is almost like a bad ending to something. You know, like a a terrible situation because of the fighting and the jealousy and you know infidelity in the relationship so you may want to seek some counseling or you know just a good support system some good friends some people that's not going to go behind your back and talk about you because you're having issues uh, in, in relationships or you may have, or tell some people tell some people that you trust and that you, that you know is not going to you know, take the story and twist it and take it all different kind of directions, okay? But I do see help and support there for you. Um, they want you to have uh, ideas and inspirations that are going to come to you after you seek your support, after you get your support um, situation straightened out and all that. It seems like you're going to be inspired to do something on your own. You're going to have inspirations and ideas that, that comes out. You're going to inspire people by then. Whatever this is, you've been holding it back for a long time. And it may be because of your relationship issues. Kind of like maybe they might have tore you back, tore you down. A lot of you Sagittarius from reaching your own goals, from doing what you want to do. So now that they're gone and out of the picture, your ideas and inspirations are going to come about now. That's what they want you to focus on, okay, for the month of July. Okay, now what we're going to do here is, got another deck, and we're going to choose um, a potential partner that may be coming up here, or maybe there, they may have shown up for some of you, some of you, they may just be coming in, some of you may be together now, and it's going to, and some of you, Maybe single, and this person might pop up in your life. So we're going to see who this person is of sign wise, as far as the sign, and then we're going to find out the compatibility that may uh, cross you two. Okay, so I'm going to pick out that one. And we get in the page of wands. Boy, we get in page of wands and page of this, which are younger people. But I'm going to take this like 30 on up. Page of wands. We're talking about wands as an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. Can you see that okay? Symbolize passion, desires, creativity, energy, career, and ideas. That's their element is fire. We all know that, right? So, this person, like I said, may be younger than you are or around the same age as the person that I'm talking to, the Sagittarius that I'm talking to. This person is going to enter in your life, and if you're not, you know, if it's, if it's not that sign, it's almost of that sign, uh, has that element of that, you know, maybe an element they carry 
within this, what they say, the moon sign or whatever kind of sign it could be. They could carry the element of another sign. I'll just say it that way because I'm not into astrology. Uh, but I'm just using that as an example as a, a mate that may come into to some of you Sagittarius' life, okay? And um, how that might, you know, turn out, turn out compatibility-wise. So I'm shuffling up the compatibility cards now, okay? Just for compatibility with Sagittarius for the month of July going into August because I am late bringing out my videos. They had a bill. And she's this one. Okay, now for this um for this person that came up for you that's coming into your life, Sagittarius, we're gonna say it's um the let me put my glasses on. <laughs> it's not actually glasses, they're just the kind of things that blow stuff up. <laughs> Venus opposite Saturn, cold, hard, and boring. Oh, brother. We came up with this with some other reading, too. Okay, so a, a relationship that is such, a relationship that is such hard work isn't worth getting into in the first place. Simply getting along is, uh, oppressive and confidence destroying, and you are sexually incompatible. So you're not compatible in the bed. Okay, basically what you're saying. Uh, your partner appears cold and indifferent to you, your values and priorities. So they're cold to, uh, like a lot of things, maybe your belief system. They're not going to be, they're kind of just not going to be interested. Lack of communication, empathy, and understanding are very wearing, and heaviness of heart will get you down. Avoid this one. Avoid this one. Avoid this one. If, if if you haven't avoid that one, and that may be part of the reading of the person that we talked about earlier that you're going to break away from, this may be the one for some of you um, Sagittarius's. And now we see why, because of the incompat, there's a big incompatibility here with this um, uh, wand, you know, which they call, you know, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. There's a big incompatibility in all ways and that may be the reason for the fussing the fighting the not getting along the, you know all of that you know it, 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 it's telling the story you know throughout the whole reading that this person you're just not compatible with that's all it's just incompatibility doesn't mean you're not going to never find somebody else because you will now, let's see what the eyes of the oracle, oh, that flipped out there. Let's see what the eyes of the oracle has to say to you, okay? Seeking God with noble ideas. And this came up again. And I'm, I'm, I'm shuffling these cards really pretty good. You guys are watching me. Um, but this came up for another sign also, you know, and it, I think it was also during a breakup time. So they want you to seek and guide, uh, with noble ideas, you know, go inside yourself and, and, and bring that peace, um, uh, uh, go out with your ideas because that came up with your, uh, you know, the support and see the first time we did the ideas again. So they're stressing to you, the angel saying again, Concentrate and focus on your ideas. It could be something in uh, entrepreneurship. It might be something that you've been thinking about doing for a long time, but there was just some, too much interruption or maybe no encouragement to, to go there. Sometimes we do need encouragement to go there. Sometimes, you know, if you love yourself enough, you'll just go there whether somebody likes it or not, you know, whether they give you encouragement or not. But you know, use this time to go ahead, go forward with, with your inspirations and your uh, dreams and your hopes right now, uh, Sagittarius. That's going to help you out a lot uh, during this uh, phase of this breakup situation, heartache or whatever. Just concentrate on yourself right now and just do you, Sag. Do you. Forget about them. You know, they, they're gone or if some of you haven't experienced it yet, they're coming in, but they're not. You're, you're not going to be compatible with them, and don't say you haven't been told, okay? I'm just just a messenger, and um, it's up to you to listen and to do, follow the messages of, of, of what the Most High uh, <coughs> Creator, your Creator, <coughs> has sent to me, these angels to, to speak to you with. 
And with that, I'm going to end up saying thank you so much for sharing my videos and watching my videos and commenting and, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, you know, all that good stuff. I'm really, I'm really so happy and so proud, um, that I ha almost had 500, 5,000 subscribers, you know, and I think only been on YouTube for like two or three months, maybe three months, four months, maybe something like that. And I'm, I'm just quite surprised. I really never paid the atten any attention. I just, I'm just here to do my job, you know, that's, that's basically my main focus, but so many people brought it to my attention. Thank you all, <clears throat> uh, for, for having patience with me during this time, um, uh, of, of, of things that I had to go through. So I hope you continue to watch my videos. I hope you uh, continue to share. Hope, can, hope you continue to like and to comment. And I hope you continue to subscribe. Um, yourself so you can get my videos you know every month okay and with that you all know what I say at the end and you can say it along with me if you like love is all there is and love is all there ever be thank you for watching and I'll catch you in August see what you've got in store for you in August of Sagittarius love you guys bye bye